In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our front covers that we've made for our ebooks, um, but to have a kind of a banner image across the top of the um, master page so that it shows across the whole ebook to give your ebook a consistent sense of style and brand. So, um, to get us started, go back into GIMP and save a copy of your home page um, so that just in case we make things um, that go wrong. So I've called it ebook master page, so we just, I've already pressed save on mine so I can cancel it, but for you, do a new copy. And then we're going to get rid of the bits we don't need from our front cover. So we don't need this open ebook uh, text and we don't need this little layout which gives us our button, so I can get rid of those. And I want to move using the move tool this layer and moving the active layer only, I'm going to move that up the page um, so that it's in a slightly better location and I'm going to resize it using this which is the scale tool and if I click on it and I make sure this link is um, this little paper, well it's like a paper click, this little chain link is linked then as I drag it will keep the proportions correct. Okay so we've got the information age and I'm going to take my name and I'm going to put that up under it and I'm going to similarly resize that to scale. Um, so it's a bit small actually but you know it'll do for the example. So we've got our um, text at the top and I'd like to have a similar sort of thing to this gradient but at the top of it so like before well I'm going to switch off the gradient that I've got I'm going to create a new layer transparent layer and I'm going to just draw a new gradient. So I go to my gradient tool, my gradient is going to be from, um, well it says foreground, so set the black as the foreground, so from black to transparent and I should just be able to drag that on. Oops. Just trying to make sure it's straight. That looks fine. And once that's done, I can now um, either export that whole thing um, so that my whole book is kind of on this background, or I could choose to export maybe just the top bit as a kind of banner. For now, I'm going to export the whole thing because I can always then fiddle with it when I'm in serif to crop and only have certain parts of it. So I'm going to put it on my desktop and I call it ebook master page export and then let's go into serif and let's go to uh, let's go to a page let's go to our master page by clicking down here and master and our master page also needs resizing say so page properties um, and with the dimensions 1024 768 press ok and I can insert that new image so insert picture from file and go to where I've saved it on my Mac and it's going to take a little while to load up. Fantastic, that's uh, loaded up because the cursor's changed so I can click and drag it in and there we go, now that's on the master page so all of my pages, if I click to view those should now have this set as their background. Ah, I need to exit the master page. Okay, so it looks a bit odd, um, so what we can do is to improve it, I could either just have only the top bit showing, um, or I could probably put like a sort of white square in the background, which is where the pages can go, um, but it still sort of keeps a consistent look if viewing it say on an iPad or something. So let's go back to the master page and I'll show you both options. First one is just to simply crop um, so we only have the banner at the top. So I select the image, grab the crop tool and I just drag up and it just crops a ba banner at the top. So if I now exit my master page, go to one of my normal pages, there we go, you can just see uh, that across all my pages I've got that at the top. And that looks, that looks quite nice, I'm quite happy with that, that's okay. Uh, but let me just show you the alternative. Go back to my master page, let's um, uncrop so I should be able to grab the crop tool and drag 
open again. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a rectangle. I might even be a bit of a maverick, see if I can get a rounded rectangle. Oh, there isn't one on there. I think there is an option to make it rounded. Oh, yes, adjustable corners. Excellent. Okay, so we can play with that. So I can drag it on. And that now, just center, center align it a bit so it looks a bit better. Now if I go to my other pages and look at those, I can see that they're all showing, again, like within um, that framework on my master page. Uh, now, the one place it might look a bit odd uh, might be your home page, but if you've just included an image over um, the rest, then it kind of hides it, so it's not a problem. But if you did have a page where you didn't want the master page to um, be... Uh, what's the word, if you didn't want it to be um, applied, so let's say you had like a different contents page or something, well then when you create your new page, you can just go to master pages and untick, and then it won't take um, that master page, um, it won't take the design, so just makes that a bit easier. Um, you can have multiple master pages, so if you wanted to have a master page for let's say your landing pages, which had a different design than uh, your contents pages, then you could absolutely do that. And then when you're looking at a page's properties, you would just simply go to master pages. And again, you just make sure you've selected the right master page and its settings will apply to that contents page. So uh, that's how we do it. It gives it a nice little bit of design. Let's, let's preview it. So I'm on my home page, and I can go from my home page. Once it's loaded up, I can open my ebook and it's going to go through to my contents page and there's my nice looking kind of background and I've got my contents within it which is really really nice and obviously here we would add the navigation bar um, so that we can move around the site um, and that already now that looks so much more professional just by having a consistent design and style that's applied throughout the book.